fasten your seat belts and prepare for an awesome experience. Showcasing the best of Jamaica's automotive culture. Eight seven six streets, repping for Jamaican sickest rides. This event is sponsored by. Yes, yes. Thanks to all our sponsors. 876 repping for the sickest rides, sickest footage. Don't worry, we're a little bit delayed. Um, testing on the track uh, has caused a, 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 a car that has broken down, so that to clear the track. We'll be back shortly. Stay tuned. Our viewers and excitement is still here. So we're here clearing the track, and we'll be back shortly with our exciting program. Thank you. ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours. Ordering KFC online is so easy. The only difficult thing will be to resist. Order your KFC favorites at the new KFCJamaica.com. Easy KFC, it's finger licking good. You look at her and she's perfect. You want the best for her. She deserves it. Someday, she'll be- Stop. You don't need a commercial to tell you to start investing to make your money work for you. Click the link and complete the form and let us help you to start investing for a better future. You deserve it.
all right so welcome back guys uh just in case you're just joining the live and you're wondering what's happening just to give you a quick update we have completed super street one uh improved production one and on track now uh let me see right now uh, on your screen right that's the motorcyclists they're up next um after that will be the exciting modified production class no no correction <laughs> we have completed modified production one as well so after the bike races will now have round two of races all right so that's what's happening right here at dover now i want to say a special thank you to everyone on our live stream um you guys are a part of history this is the first pay-per-view event and I could be wrong, but I think this is the first pay-per-view motorsport event in Jamaica. And um, definitely you guys are a part of it. You know, I know um, you guys could have waited, you know, say, well, let me wait until, you know, the videos are uploaded. But of course, I know you guys are true motor racing fans and you decided to you know support the GRDC support 876 streets by watching this live stream today now it seems as if the internet has gotten a little better so let's hope I'm not talking too fast too soon <laughs> yes let's hope that I'm not talking too Pass, but um, yes it looks like we're having a little better internet so stand by we're waiting on the officials to get race number one for the bikers on the road so yes stand by one love live again track is now live so the bikers will be doing their warm-up laps
And yes, yes, we are here in Mac Live and the start is off. The standing start of this motorcycle excitement is off. We have four to five competitors in this race right now as a warm-up lamp. We had one outing for mechanical failures and they're off. Warming through. So yes, up on the grid going so far, we have Theron back, back now. And Mr. Heslop, Daniel David, and Mr. Edwards and Mr. Deba Hamilton are at it. And these are different genres of bikes, different branding. We have Triumph out there, Suzuki, Honda. So it's a battle of the of different different branding, may I tell you. And you know, each and them have different tuners and we are currently fighting for the grid to, to find their space in on the track coming around to complete the first lap Mr. Bagnall and Mr. Heslop I think are still in the lead from what I can see here as they anticipate the S's around the back to come up to the start finish here you go okay that David is in the first position with a lap time of 132 and the crowd seems to be excited because he's pulling away clearly from the crowd establishing his dominance over the other riders Mr. Edwards in second position with a 134 Mr. Heslop closely behind with a 135 Biba Hamilton with a 148 been sitting on the line for, for a little while with anticipation have to shake off the bugs and get back into the groove slip and slide let's sell that is motorcycles these pocket rockets 
So you'll see their lap times improving as they go along, starting to challenge each other, lap after lap. But the man who seems to have been settling the saddles the quickest so far is Mr. Daniel David with a time of 132.751. Chasing by Mr. Edwards. Some, I, it's hard for me to stand from so far and tell you exactly which branding of motorcycle, but you know, if, if you know it like I do, I'm an ex-motorcycle rider between Triumph, Honda, Suzuki, BMW, and he's being challenged right now. Yes, Mr. Edwards is wearing with Mr. David right now closely. Both of them are at a one, a one thirty lap time. As Mr. Hamilton cruises slowly behind, but the challenge is at the front. These two riders are exchanging lap positions, not so often, but being pressured very closely. And yes, he's un challenging him. I know he's defended out there. You can't see from so far, but these lines for them are so tight as these machines accelerate so fast and stop so quickly. And here he goes on the back stretch. And the machine, you can tell. It's a David's motorcycle. It seems to be pulling away and it's been very strong in torque and torquing away from, from Mr. Edwards. So he's defending. So there's another strategy, I guess, with braking and and handling to see if he can and yes they're there coming through the s's right now very close in it is almost as if there's only one bike on the grid they're so close front tire right there and it looks like he's out too. as he stretch as mr edwards stretches out his leg as if he's a dirt bike rider like he was going to slide it around the top car and, and yes, on the one wheel so he seems to be intimidating him with a little boast in there like he has his spot, very confident and yes and he's, and he's so yes like he was playing with him all along and let's see if he challenges him back for the top spot Mr. So Edwards just took the lead and he's pulling away as if it was played over here Wow, very, very confident with that pass. Was giving it, um, uh, um, it was giving him a nice little wheelie there behind, showing the crowd that he's got this. Don't worry about me. And he's now pulling away confidently. Wow, these pocket rockets are a thing to be reckoned with once you've mastered this craft and the preparation suspension tuning tires these bikes are dyno tuned also in kingston i've seen them in done at carl reynolds shop in kingston there's a lot of work that goes into these motorcycles and dover raceway is the track for them this is more designed for her this is the last lap yes the white flag is out one rider has retired pulled up before the start finish line and the white flag is out for the last lap. So it is clear. The dominance is clear. He might as well get the flag from now, providing he keeps it safe and keeps his head on his shoulders to just secure, pull up a little bit and secure the win. He's not under any form of pressure. He is within a class by himself, racing by himself. The measurement is of him and his lap time at this point. The others are just collecting points at this point cruising along the race the race is not over the white flag is still standing collecting all the riders from the rear to know this is the last lap and they're now in a mi on a mission to search for the checkered flag the reminder that this is the last lap 
one bike has retired seems to have had issues I think that was nah. Round of applause for them, they've done very well as they're collecting the checkered flag and not knowing that the checkered flag was right in front of him and has and is the winner. Almost, almost, that was definitely could have been a lovely 876 Streets bloopers right there. Stopped right before the checkered flag and he is, is the winner of the event. Thank God he has a, he has a crew telling him to ride on, ride on my friend. And he's the winner, congratulations. He is so superior. He had nobody there with him. Had no idea what lap he was on. Not, I guess not seeing the, the, the white flag to know it was the last lap. And he's the winner of this event confidently. Well, not so confidently in the end, but round of applause to him and his team. And here is the checkered flag once more, second place. Mr. Heslop, Mr. Edwards is the winner out of the five entrants that stand so far. And here we go, screaming at the end. Mr. Hamilton going through the finish line. Round of applause to them. This race is usually a lot more entrance, but the exciting ones are still at the top, showing the dedication to, the, to their sport. A little confusion was there, but I think they're not confused. We're very clear on who the winner is. On the motorcycle race, number one, got onto a, got, got onto a hesitant start because warming the tires before they go out on maximum attack to put out their maximum lap times. The pace car is back out. Back out on the lap. Congratulations to these riders. Congratulations, Mr. Edwards, on the win. Mr. Heslop, Deba Hamilton, Daniel David, and Theron Bagnow. 876 Streets live. Thank you for our viewers. We appreciate you. Subscribing, giving back. And our dedication to you is for you. This is Maurice Whittingham. AKA World Boss, the doctor. Thank you as we grid live for our next event, which is coming up shortly. Stay tuned. 876 Streets for the sickest footage, sickest rides in the Caribbean.
ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours. Ordering KFC online is so easy. The only difficult thing will be to resist. Order your KFC favorites at the new KFCJamaica.com. Easy KFC, it's finger licking good. Yes, we're back. Maximum attack, race three. Dover, raceway. MP3, bracket. Okay. With the MP3, one, two, three, and four. Coming around, doing the warm up lap. over 2024 pace car out on track Oliver Townsend at the front graded with the Spartec air conditioning sponsored EK Civic Lamar Lamond with the AE86 Toyota Corolla researched and developed by him and his crew 
MP3 lineup in front, Alan Gordon, Charles Phillip, MP4. Sorry, Charles Phillip for MP2, Ricardo Clark, Daniel Chuck in his S13 Nissan Silvia. West, Young and Oliver Townsend chasing in his own Pacific. Lamar Lamar down into the biggest drop in third position. Sarah Mazur. Sarah Mazur chasing Tech Pass Boy. She looking for war. The top three to stay in the top grid, but although there's three different brackets to this race. They're all collecting Swiffy Tune has sorted out the complications in this Subaru and is taking position one by one, passing Doc in the Swift, Swift GTI and looking to pass Charles Phillip in his EK Civic coming around. This is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. Just to watch and let you know exactly where we are so far. Alan Gordon, this is the first lap, so all the positions shall be presented to you as they pass the start for the straight, the time and ten, so they'll know their lap times and where they start. And Alan Gordon has just passed back on the top of the Sarah Mateus, confidently in fourth, looking for them to have a next position, so they can read the sign on the back. All the female in this group, punch for punch, punch for punch, she's, she's there anticipating how she shall make. She's chasing Lamar Lamar in his A86. Oliver Townsend currently in second, chasing Alan Gordon in his MP4, Evolution 10. And that he's doing down the side for the straight, showing that naturally aspirated EK Civic so well put together, Spartek air conditioning car. So Alan is in the lead with a 128 so far. Oliver Townsend chasing Lamar Lamar closely on his heels. Some Sarah Monsieur waiting for a mistake. Just to make she's placed her lines and her apex in perfectly so far as that place that we run. Alan maintains the lead. Oliver closely on his ease. Alan Lamar Laman working his way up and pressuring Oliver Townsend and Sarah. Round of applause, female. Here, like I know that I know just go alone. Don't call me out, the Lamar has spun! Whoa! Sarah Monsieur just avoided a crazy collision! Held on to her wheel! I am so proud! Lamar lost the rear of his car! And, and Sarah held it beautifully! What a save, what a piece of excitement! This is motor racing at its best. These are professionals. I still have goosebumps running down my neck back. What a save. And, and Lamar held it. 
did not lose its sour place that wheel so well and defended and still attacking as she she moved on to the other corner she was still attacking she's not playing around she wants Lamar to read the sign on the back of her car saying take pass boy my goodness. And Alan and Oliver is still at it. Lamar is gathering up his back and some Sierra, Sierra Monsieur, still at it. The four in the second race is exciting, ladies and gentlemen. The four of them, toe to toe. They slip their slide, and there's been another sliding on the track so far. Swifty working out the, the bugs out of his car so far, and still proving that this car is, is competitive and still trying to hold a top spot. Position. Doc, Doc is holding off that Mirage, Maybeck, and doing so well after he's been out, he had an engine failure, the last over, this is a new Alan, Alan Gordon still in the lead, Oliver Townsend chasing, Lamar Laman all over, and Sarah is still applying the pressure, Charles Phillip, Charles Phillip is still there in his respective class, MP2. He is leading MP2 so far, and Daniel Chuck after him. And Kevin Chuck. My goodness. Lamar seems to be giving the crowd what they want. A lot of sideways action. And Mr. Chuck in his S15, bringing up, picking up the pace and closing in on, on the EK Civic up. Wow, this is a lot. There's so many of them. This white coat, this white coat, it's so fast. And there goes, there goes Alan Gordon, holding the front position confidently so far, hoping that this car holds up. And, also, Oliver Townsend applying the pressure. Same way, Lamar Laman all holding these positions and determined to slip a slide. And these are And this is MP4 and two MP3. So the MP3 cars are doing very well to be holding on to the MP4 of car of Alan, Alan Gordon. Oliver is giving it what he got with that Honda Civic holding on so closely to Alan's Evolution 10 Lamar is, is very close behind to and Sarah is saying if you miss a beat you're going to take a pass Charles Philip and Daniel Chuck is at it Ricardo Scott holding his own as he's in MP3 and he needs to be more closer to Oliver and Lamar. He seems to be distant back. I don't know if maybe he has some break issues. But still, still in this as much points as he can. Alan and Oliver at it. Lamar, same way, and Sarah, the fourth top guy. And 
Lamar seems to be challenging Oliver at some time well now. Not Oliver is clearly clearly pressuring Alan Gordon. And Alan seems to be just boosting away the four of them the corner. Charlie Phillips and Daniel Chuck. What's going on? Oliver has nosed this way. And the underscores of Alan Turner has passed him to retain the first position with his MP3 EK Honda Civic. And Alan is trying to take it back. And Lamar Lamar seems to be trying to make opportunity of this. Oliver now is pulling away, not sure, he's not sure what he's up to, but Alan, Alan is trying to defend and Oliver is now in the first position and Lamar Lamar seems to want to take advantage of this opportunity and Charles close to behind. Well not so close but she is maintaining confidently her first, fourth, fourth position. But she would be second in her class. Oliver pulling away. And Lamar. Lamar has taken second spot. Passing. Passing. Alan Gordon in the MP4 monster. And Sarah is next on the list. She is now after Alan to show her badging. Alan seems to be having some difficulty, but still pushing on. As the confident driver he is, he's still pushing on. He's not giving up. Sounds to be having some breaking up issues, but he's still pushing to maintain the MP4. But he's, oh my, seems to be losing momentum. Seems to be having problems. I don't know what it is, but you can clearly see he's not on the same pace as he was before. As Oliver Townsend in the Spartak, and Amsoil, Amsoil Racing from the Civic is confidently pulling away and Lamar Lamar has his eyes set on the EK, the EK rear. Oliver is not looking behind him, he's looking forward to this victory. This is the seventh lap, it's been complete, we're looking for the white flag, yes, the white flag is out. This is the last lap. He's hunting. He's hunting for the for the checkered flag as he got it. And the checkered flag is out. Oliver is the winner. Congratulations, Lamar is second. These classes are all wins. It's not first, second, third. It's a fucking race. Alan still fighting. Sarah passed. Wow. Wow. This is serious. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? As excited as I am. A lot has happened. It's never over till the fat lady sing. And let me tell you, Sarah didn't give up, although she's no fat lady. Sarah held her a fantastic drive from avoiding us. Difficulties by Lamar. Oliver Townsend is the winner of the of the MP3 class and overall race in that Amsoil. And Spartek sponsored, built by so many influences. He has taken time out to research that car, came back into racing, and is doing so well. Round of applause to him. 876 Streets, live with your coverage. And the class winner for MP2. Lamar Lamar, second in MP3, and Sarah Monsieur, first with MP4, is the winner. She's won her race. She's the winner of her race, outing Alan Gordon. And Charles Phillips is the first place winner of MP2 in this bracket race. Congratulations to them. Congratulations. 876 Street Lives. Live lives. <laughs> Trust me, the excitement is real. You can hear it in my voice, and uh, I feel like we have placed you in the cockpit of these of these motor vehicles, and uh, we are here to bring it to you. 
in your household, wherever you are, tune into 876 Streets as we set up for the next race of the day. This is Maurice Whittingham, aka World Boss, bringing it to you live. Thank you as we take a break. ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours. KFC online is so easy. The only difficult thing will be to resist. Order your KFC favorites at the new KFCJamaica.com. Easy KFC. It's finger licking good. This event is sponsored by
Yeah. <laughs> well, Kid Ron gives me a joke. We're back here live at Dover Raceway, Easter Meat Weekend. The JRDC. Boy, this is sponsored, I would say, by, by 876 Streets because the coverage is phenomenal. Right now, this is the second race for the streetcar class, as I explained to you earlier. The entry level event, bracket racing, nothing over 145, separated by turbocharged and naturally aspirated cars. And boy, people, I realize people are taking full advantage of these cars because I'm seeing racers that is in MP2 and MP3 racing in the streetcar class here, hopping out of one car into another to get the full experience, the full camaraderie of racing at Dover Raceway that they can maximize all the different tasks that they can be in and to show how beautiful it is you can hop into a street car and enter the street race and get into your fully blown race car and 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 the excitement is just the thrills and spills are there as we had in the last race a while ago with with I mean the, the highlights to me was Sarah Mizdira, Lamar Lamar and, and Oliver Townsend they were just at it at it with with Alan um Chen, it was no Gordon Alan Gordon in his MP4 Evolution 10. It, it was just phenomenal. As we start up, they're coming up the back straight now to start the second race of the day for the Super Street class. The, the, this and the green flag is up. The starter is satisfied of the positioning, and they're now off. And the, this car, this race has at least 12 entrants. Correction. 10. I'm only seeing it on my screen, but there's two more and they're off and they're specific in this race. Only certain zones, they're passing zones that you're allowed to pass. And in the corners, maintaining, maintaining positions until you have the clear view of a, the passing zones to, to overtake and not break out of the one minute 45 second bracket. As as Vijay Paula clearly seems to be in the championship spirit as he had won the last race before and has taken the lead and stretching the rest of the pack and I'm sure he's confident of not breaking out of his 145 because this car should be maximum attack not breaking out of the 1 minute 45 second class and as they come around to see the true positioning when they pass through the timing area and it will be recorded on my laptop here on exactly the positions that they retain turbocharged and non-turbocharged cars naturally aspirated but Vijay seems to be out in front from my clear view and wow I see a sneaky overtake there by the, v, by the VW that that Gulf under took the Civic coming up to the SS and he's now right behind Vijay Bowler and the FT86 sneaking up behind. And that's Charles Chen. And here we go. Fitzy the baller in the front of the sun, Charles Chen and Robert Bowen in third. Lap times 148. Raymond Mooney in fifth. And Mr. Falloon in sixth. And Jordan Lamb in seventh position. And Garth you in eighth position but this is not the final position because as i told you they are running different aspirations one is force induction and one isn't so there's still two separated categories in this race and so there'll be two winners two two points earners not only for first place The action is real. I'm wondering if these drivers are paying attention to the passing zones because we seem to have some people etching and intimidating the left-right corner job hooks to intimidate the front driver to get out the way so I can set you up to pass you in the passing zone. Mr. Bowler clearly see seeks no challenge in front. And Mr. Chen is still after him. They're close in lap times, but that's the here right there in the corner. S is where they slope so that they make sure that they don't break out of this super street class time bracket. So as we anticipate them coming up the back straight now. Vijay Bowler still in front. Charles Chen in second. 
Robert Moore in third. And the position remains. No, Mr. Brady is now in third. Robert Moore in fourth. And Raymond Moon in fifth. And as we see, they're swapping positions a lot around the back. And Garth Huey is challenging. Not as fast commentating as the bracket race before, but this yet is still very exciting. As we see all different manufacturers out there, BMW, Toyota, VW, Honda, and they're mixing it up and exchanging close lap times between 145 to 147, two seconds apart. Seems like Joshua Brady might have, we're not sure yet, might have broken out of the 145 bracket. And that is how it goes when you're under attack and the adrenaline is pumping and you're trying to get ahead of your competitor. It has not been confirmed, but it seems this way. DJ Bowler giving them the shoulder move, the left and right shoulder move, slowing them up. Everybody showing their respect so they don't break out. Charles Chen closely behind in the VW. Josh Brady. Right, one. Robert Murray in fourth. Raymond Moody, Mr. Falloon, and Mr. Lamb gather up the rear. Yes, Mr. Chen is fresh at Mr. Bowler. Yes, but it seems to, Mr. Bowler making it look, don't make it look like he's following him. He's holding his line, knowing that there's clear marked passing zones. I can see he's making a confident drive. Doesn't seem to be having any issues. He just knows where to plant it and knows when to to slow it down because some of these cars are clearly capable of a one faster than a 145 lap time very confidently holding his line down the back straight Mr. Bowler as Mr. Chen is closely on his on, on his tail and Mr. Brady is looking for them to slip so that he can let them slide to take over one of the positions from them Robert Murray still holding his ground as a, a lot of the, I think the turbocharged cars are up front as they can easily boost out of the corners holding the lines. Seems like Robert is experiencing some mechanical difficulties as he pulled off, as he has pulled off the track, keeping the way clear for the rest of them today. The lap stand we're on. The third, the fourth lap is complete. Oh no, he's back up and moving again. Robert seems to be limping back. He's not going very fast. He's limping back to the pits where he can keep it safe to be off the track for the other competitors to keep their maximum attack in the super straight, second super street race for the day. Back to the action at the front. Mr. Bowler seems to be holding his line and not worried at all about the German engineer in VW of <laughs> the FT86 seems to have been broken out of his bracket but still still steaming on and giving him the break as if it was a hazard light there's a lot of technique in this I'm, I'm proud to say I'm seeing a lot of technique in the maneuvering of this lap on this this super street class is a, it's very technical. You have to use your brain also, it's not just the balls. As he, Mr. Bowler and Mr. Chen,
comes through the, the S's to come up the start finish straight. And it would be Joshua Brady up from my my information here. Should be running third. I can't see as the Honda fit and that Mitsubishi Honda powered Mavic. And yes, you hear the German engine shifting as if it was an Audi. Mr. Paula confidently holding up Mr. Chen and Joshua Brady and Raymond Moody at it because they're very close appeared. Jordan Lamb, Robert Murray and Garth Hugh seem to be in a The FT86 is pressuring the Bavarian Motorsports M M1 or M2. And the Honda Power the Mitsubishi is chasing the Honda Fit. And the Honda Fit is, is saying you need to keep the Honda engine Honda engine in a Honda or you shall not pass by royalty. But nevertheless, he pedals on and is pressuring. Say, move, get out the way. But still still abiding by the rules and passing on in the pass passing zones, not overstepping their boundaries so that they can still qualify. If you must first finish you have to finish first to, to finish first. That's all. That's all. What's this all? And the rally rules. So Vijay Baula, this is the fifth lap. And Vijay Bowler seems to still be in the lead. Bowler closely followed by Charles Chen, waiting to make his move. He's keeping very close to Vijay. Raymond Moon in third and Joshua Brady in fourth. Mr. Bowler keeping him cool. Charles is saying, I am no fool. I'm keeping it very close to you as you slip a slide. Vijay said, I know what you're up to. I've taken out my rearview mirrors. You shall not intimidate me. And we have some exchanging of positions here now. Raymond Moon in third and now very close knit. The three cars are up front waiting for a mistake by Mr. Vijay Bowler and seeing if they can apprehend him in the passing zones to change the position and the outcome of this race. They're still seeking for the white flag to show them it's the last half of the race to show the attack. They're patiently waiting. It's a time, it's a game of patience and timing as they slow it down through the back S's so they do not break out. Mr. Chen is pulling alongside Vijay to say, listen. Vijay accelerates away as if. And it's the same thing. Oh my. Vijay Bowler, Charles Chen, Raymond Moody, and Joshua Brady on the attack in that red FT86. And the Honda Fit. And the Honda powered Mitsubishi Mirage Maybeck. So, Mr. Chen is sandwiched. He's in a sandwich. Charles Chen is sandwiched by two. BMW, Bavarian Motorsports motor car, seems to, they want to intimidate him. They have him where they want him. But Charles Chen don't seem to be worried. They might have a plan with Mr. Brady how to get out the BMWs that has been holding their positions thus far throughout this race. 
excitement. This is lap number seven. And they're coming up to the white flag, which will indicate this is the last lap. So all of the excitement of this race shall boil down to this. As they slow it up, slowly negotiating the back S's, which is no excitement because they do not want to break out of the 1 minute 45 bracket. Everybody is closely anticipating what to do left, right. If they shall rub tires and fenders on these beautiful cars. But yes, Mr. Chen is placing himself and holding his foot flat and passing Mr. Bowler on the start for the straight. And everybody seems to want to take advantage of this. Charles Chen snuck by Mr. Bowler. Congratulations. We shall wait and wait on the results. 876 streets results shall so soon soon show to show if we have a broken out of any brackets and there's any penalties to determine the official winner of the turbocharged class and the naturally aspirated class before there's any celebrated and celebrations of handing out of the checkered flags super street race number two Mr. Bowler was the winner of the first one. I think Charles Chen might have been able to manipulate it, manipulate it. I'm waiting on the results. Eight laps complete. As they slowly cru cruise around the Lubit corner. And the FT giving you some sideways action. Showing the crowd their appreciation, his appreciation of being out here on such a, a, a memorable and such a class high class track a lot of these drivers have been coming here from their kids and now have grown up and retained their license and is now out here competing 876 streets repping for the sickest footage as they line up for the next race we'll be right back with the official results thank you this is Maurice Whittingham aka Dr. World Boss Bringing to you live footage from JRDC Easter Meet Dover Raceway, sponsored 876 Streets. This event is sponsored by. in your seat belts and prepare for an awesome experience showcasing the best of Jamaica's automotive culture eight seven six streets repping for Jamaican sickest rides
Yes, it's a six streets. We are back. We are back with IP3, IP2, IP, the fifth race of fifth, fifth, I'm listening, fifth race of the day. This is a warm tile lap as the pace car slowly navigates and the convoy through the Lubit corner as the starter will be paying attention to the gridding as they come through the S's and come up the start finish straight. The excitement shall explode when the starter gives them the green flag. We're excited to bring this to you. 876 Streets. Remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell when you end up on the YouTube. Everybody falling in line. The pace car slows them up. We are, we have. Seventeen cars on this grid. This is one of the more exciting races. The brackets. This is IP. This is IP one through three. As they're coming to the back straight and the starter slowly anticipates to see if they're in the proper alignment before it drops the flag and gives them the green flag. Yes, and they're off. off. And yes. Bassere was in the beginning, the front. Vijay Bowl after him, he's in third position now, trying to get the top. They're finding their positions. I'm telling you, Vijay Bowler, Vijay Bowler is in, currently in third. Pass through the start finish line in second. And let me tell you, this man is doing a tremendous job because he's been in almost every race here today, other than the motorcycle race. He's been hopping from car to car and giving an excellent performance. They told me that they would be back at Dover, but they were not here to play. They meant it. They're preparing cars for drags. Drift is the only thing I've not seen them in so far because maybe because World Boss is in it. It's hard to beat. So they're taking on the classes that they can manage. Bassi Ray is holding his own in his EP acquired Civic from the King family. Tony Gibson is maintaining his own control of that. And Bassaray is tight on his heel and is attacking from the left, the right. And he, my goodness, is. Vijay is close. Honestly, the excitement is real. My goodness, Bassi is putting on a performance. Sebastian Ray in his EK Civic is in second and holding. Vijay Bowler closely on his heels. John Steele in his blue EK Civic. This is a. Uh, they're running similar lap times, and let me tell you, boy, I'm out here. Mr. Chuck in his S13 fighting. Fighting for position one by one. Sheldon Morgan in his. George Bailey acquired Evolution 8. At this point, it's developed so far, you could call it the Evolution 12. The crowd is ecstatic. As the driver starts to Vijay Wollemolans. Oh my goodness, 
There's a new academic Sufi. The Sufi is looking to knock on the door of Vijay Bola in his M3. The MP4, the IP4 class is on. And wow. Ian Gala, go breath. Swifty. And Sheldon Morgan has moved up into fourth position. And after the top contenders, he's on the heels now of, of Vijay Bowler, which is trying to hold him off, giving him the, the shuffle left, right. Where do you want to pass? And now it's full sideways. And he has, and he has made the pass on Vijay Bowler. Sheldon Morgan is climbing to the top bit by bit. I just hope, I'm just hopeful that his car maintains the durability that it needs to finish all these laps. And Bassery is still, still holding his own in his Honda Civic. Sounds simple. Bassery now in third, and Shellan Morgan has retained second place at the top of the in the Evolution 7. Yes, the Clash of the Titans is here. And Sheldon Morgan has now taken the lead and extending down the Pinkish Bluff is taking it away from, from Jody Gibson. Bassere is still barking at the heels of the two four-wheel drive titans. And Bass is trying his best to pass to go in second position right now. Wow. This Ebola has a bird's eye view of the battle in front and he wants to be a part of it. Vijay is not giving up. Bassi is not giving up. Swifty, Swifty with his four-wheel drive. Subaru seems to be having issues and slowing up a bit and is falling off of the pace that he was on before he was, he was climbing fast before now he's just maintaining look like he's trying to gather points something might be wrong with him but the war at the front right now Sheldon Morgan seems to have figured out the remedy and is pulling away from the pack while Ian Gibson Jody Gibson sorry, is, is saying he wants it back he wants back the lead and he's trying his best to see if his evolution can actually maintain the pace of Shellan Superior Morgan. Basire is saying, move out the way. Move out the way, Mr. Gibson. I want to chase Mr. Morgan. Vijay Bola is saying all the same thing also. Say, hey, we're not playing around. The excitement is real. There's constant attacks on this track. They're exchanging places and it's not it's not regular. These guys are at it. It's a left-right situation. You don't know which side they're gonna pass on. This is actually a beautiful race to watch. As the IP1 straight to IP3 bracket passes. There's more, there's three winners, three challenges, as many challenges in the from the front to the rear of this track in the middle where they're still battling for the win because there's three different classes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you understand what I'm saying, the fight is real because even some of the cars that does not belong in certain classes is fighting the bigger classes and, and is very competitive up and down above their own class. Sheldon Morgan still and Jody gets to switch it. Sheldon is running away with it. I'm just hoping that his car maintains as his car has sometimes fallen not so strong in durability. Ah, he's shifting easy. 
So you can see he's trying to maintain. Trello is trying to maintain winning this to secure his win. I hear him shifting easy. He's not putting as much pressure as before. Jody Gibson should smell the smell that he's slowing up and go on the attack to pull him in back. Basire is flat. Basire is flat in his IP3 Honda Civic and is doing well. And Vijay in his Bavarian Motorsport M3 is all out for it. Out for or after the win. In his IP2 Racing M3, Vijay Bowler. Mr. Bowler doing very well, has competed a lot since morning. Sheldon Morgan is making a smart drive, maintaining the durability of his car by not pressuring it once he has obtained the lead. Jody Gibson is, is if he's paying attention. Oh boy, so said, so done. I wonder if, my God, them smell it. Basiri, Basiri has smelt the weakness in Sheldon Morgan's car and is after him. Jody Gibson, Jody Gibson should also spot this and try to pull him in. But Basiri is not playing around. He's out of the Montego Bay camp and he knows when someone is limping and, and has passed Mr. Morgan in an eye boy. I don't know what to tell you. Vijay Bowler. Vijay Bowler seems to look, seems to, seems to be looking used to live in Montego Bay because he was on the attack too. <laughs> I'm just joking. This man, Oda Kingston, is a tremendous driver. Been doing very well. Very, he's a, he's the one to be watched today, driving many different cars. And oh my, he seems to be experiencing difficulty. As I said, Vijay Bowler is stolen up. Oh my. Seems to be experiencing problems in that M3. That car is painted in green. I thought it was the Hulk. But he has now transformed back into... What's the name of the other guy who's not the Hulk? <laughs> so he's pulled to the sidelines to give a clear, safe passage to the rest of competitors. But Sebastian Rey has seemed to be taking the lead in his Honda Civic. And I, that is that is flat out. He is still flat, trying to pull away. Jody Gibson passed back, Mr. Morgan, and Jody is now half done. Say if him woulda, coulda, shoulda, him shoulda know say enough. He is up a whole lamp on Sebastian Ray because he seemed like he had thrown in the towel when he saw Mr. Morgan stretching him away. And he's now experiencing difficulties and now having a hard time to catch back Basire, who has taken advantage of the situation and is not coming out of the front I know this is excitement guarantee. I don't forget about nobody, Mr. Chuck around the back and Mr. Morgan is warring. Nazara Barrett, Robert Murray. They're all segregated in different classes, IP2. Alvin Brown is first in, in IP2. Akila Morgan is chasing Alvin Brown. That is an, a, a first place. Remember, there's three different brackets. And it is exciting. We have now established the front runners for the track. Basare is flattening the pedal to hold out Jody Gibson. Sheldon Morgan is barely surviving, limping through John Steele. And Akila Morgan is after Mr. Brown. But Mr. Brown's good. And it's, it's done. The checkered flag is out. The excitement missed me with the with the, the white flag to show the last lap. And let me tell you, round of applause to them. Basire drove a tremendous drive. Wow. Giving you this coverage is from 876 Streets. The 
JDC. Easter Beats. Excitement guaranteed. This is motorsports competition at its best. A round of applause to all the drivers. They drove very well. Unfortunate for some was had mechanical failures that was very, very much competitive. Mr. Bowler and his team in preparation and driving. Sebastian Ray, wow. Never give up. And it's now first overall, first in his championship. IP3 winner. Wow. Alwyn Brown, IP. No, John Steele is the IP2 winner. Morgan was chasing Brown for the second and third place exchanges, but the, the battle was violent, I must say. But these are professionals, they did very well. They know their breaking zones, they know their passing zones. Some have created new ones to show that this sport is evolving. All we need is corporate Jamaica to come in and resurface this track and make them know that Dover Raceway is alive and well. And we're bringing it, the footage to them, courtesy of 876 Streets, repping for the sickest footage, the sickest rides. This is Maurice, a.k.a. Whittingham World Boss bringing this to you. Thank you. This event is sponsored by This event is sponsored by ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours.
Ordering KFC online is so easy. The only difficult thing will be to resist. Order your KFC favorites at the new KFCJamaica.com. Easy KFC. It's finger licking good.
ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours.
Yeah. about all of this is fortunate. It's back up and running and thumping for the win, vying for this championship. This is a, a lot of cars coming into this race right now. Man. We are doing the warm up lap, coming around, and the starter is anticipating. Drivers is anticipating the start of this race as the starter looks on as they enter the Lubit corner behind the pace car. And let me tell you, the race so far has been, you know, what's the, what would be the word? You know, clutching to your seats as the spectator clutches to their seats. And the, the fat, some of the fat test competitors are out there. Not necessarily the car, but their, their aggression is, uh, you know, out of this world so we're now waiting to see what they shall do on this last MP race for today So yes, this is from MP2 to MP4, race of today. Yes, as we wait for the excitement, Atoms Streets bringing the sickest footage to your doorsteps in your household. I am Maurice Whittingham, aka World Boss, from out of Montego Bay where a lot of talent it has sprung from and Dover is alive and well. And we now silence here on the left and see a shot waiting for the apex in the other corner. Yes, ladies and wow and uh, Sarah is tech pass boy. She is hungry for the win. And Lamar Lamond and right behind Oliver Townsend. Yes, this is the beginning of the Chanel second. Into the course, Sarah is off the island. Wow. So the race is on. And Oliver Townsend in his EK Honda Civic Spark, Spartak air conditioning sponsored Amsoil Racing car is leading Lamar Lamont and he's after him. And Alan Gordon, the man from Jam West, is after him in his MP4 Evolution 10. Yes, it is on. We are waiting for them to start to pass the start from the straight for us to see the categories that they will fall in to know what timing. Uh, what position they are in and what lap times they are running so I can give you more accurate times of their consistency. This is a seven lap race. And Oliver is in the lead. Chipping, chased, chasing is Lamar Lamar. In his eight in the second. In the third position. With his evolution 10. And it is on. Sarah Mizzou is not missing a beat. She steadily has settled in very comfortably right now and waiting for them to skip a beat for her to take advantage of it. And Mr. Chuck in his S13 is after that Mitsubishi Mirage Maivik of Ricardo Clark underpowered and trying to left right him as he and yes they seem to be doing it now Mr. Chuck and Mr. Ricardo is at it at the top straight Mr. Chuck has seemed to win the run the corner trying to get away from him this is frantic And as Oliver tries to settle in in the first place and hoping that his car just, you know, just pulled him today to the very table. And Alan is now after 
Heyman has taken away a spot from Lamar. Lamar, not of man. Whoa! And Alan has held it. Full service. The excitement is on. And Lamar has retained back the space against from Alan. Alan is on the attack. And it is on the car. He has held the control of that car. And it's still on the attack after Lamar, but Lamar doesn't seem to be frustrated by his profusive anger of his passing. Yes, Mr. Chuck is by himself pulling away from from Mr. From Mr. Barrett and Ricardo Clark. These are all MP1 Ricardo Clark and Don Gilbert. And MP2 Nazir, Nazir, Nazario Barrett and Kevin Chuck is running, trying to catch up with Sarah Mazira, which is very comfortable. This is no longer a take your seat event. I have to stand up to witness the excitement that this, these drivers are putting on today. They are all out, no holds barred. They are on it. And the man, the man to beat is Oliver Townsend in his well-prepared AE86 and Lamar is holding his ground and showing that he's not intimidated by you Mr. Alan Gordon and Alan is all over him and Sarah, Sarah, Sarah is here is, is waiting patiently watching the battle of front she has first row seats between Alan and Lamar, waiting for them to mess up so she can take the party from this. Into the Lubit corner, Lamar, Lamar, Lamar is pushing, and Alan Gordon is closely yapping at his heels, waiting for the right opportunity to use the big horsepower to see if he can pass him on one of these streets. But Lamar is. Lamar is pushing hard. Seems to be doing well. His spirit, his spirit is, is very much fueled and doing so well. Mr. Dan Gilbert is pulling off to the side, seems to be suffering some mechanical difficulties. He's pulling back into pit lane, giving a clear way for the rest of competitors to steam on through. Oliver Townsend and Lamar has just been passed by Oh uh oh Yes that 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 crazy pass pushed Mr. Lamar off the track and I don't know that that might be that might be scrutinized by the officials on the pass that was made on Lamar 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 is off with such a spirited drive that can be questionable but the race moves on and Oliver Townsend seems to be pulling away from the pack Sarah Mizio is making use of her opportunity if they slip they shall slide and she's now in third position you go girl it's called girl power and right now she is showing the boys she's rattling the cages I don't know what to say but I look in left and right, my head is like a fan to cover this whole track for 876 streets and let me tell you they are at it, they're not putting on a show, this is for keeps these people I don't know what they ate this morning, if they ate their Wheaties or what is sponsored but they are at it and uh, very comfortable but he's still on the attack trying to keep Alan Gordon off of his heels. Sarah is closely nipping at Alan and waiting for any discrepancy to pass. Oliver is not thrown in the towel. He is on attack, keeping it smooth, going down into Pinky's Bluff. And Alan is settling down, trying to pull him in back slowly, but Sarah seems to be cruising behind, waiting for for any any issues she's making a very smart drive 
Oliver in his MP3 bracket being chased by Alan Gordon with his MP4 Evolution 10. Sound is here in her MP4. It's after Alan Gordon as she she's in the same category. This is number six lap. The, the six circle around the circuit. Kevin Chuck is behind Sarah, not very closely, but Mr. Barrett and Mr. Clark, Mr. Lamond is off and Gilbert has retired. So the race is in the last six. Oliver seems to be holding his ground and Alan don't seem to be pulling in Mr. Townsend. Sarah is waiting. She is the one that is waiting to strike. She's waiting to strike, but they seem to be evening out. I do not know if the potential of these cars are at their max. But it's coming down to the last. This is a six lap. I'm looking for the white flag to signal the last lap. And it's not yet there. So there's time for Sarah to make her move. Kevin Chuck far behind. Mr. Barrett and Mr. Clark pulling up the rear. Mr. Clark is clipping at the heels of Mr. Barrett in his yellow EK Civic, but clearly Mr. Townsend is holding his ground in, in first position and has done a lap of 128. Alan, Alan Gordon has the fastest lap of the day with a 126.036. Oliver Townsend just closed closely dropped a lap of 126 also 262 but not milliseconds off of Mr. Gordon's time and the flag is out for the last lap the white flag is out and yes this is it the last lap Looking for the checkered flag in each consecutive class is MP3 and MP4 is the only class is surviving so far. And Mr. Chuck with his coming through the start finish line profusively trying to pull in. Maybe a ghost in front of him because it's a far away. And there is And congratulations to Mr. Oliver Townsend winning his class and also Mr. Gord Alan Gordon Winning his class, Sarah is your second. A, a beautiful effort there by Sarah Mazur. A, a solid drive, very solid drive. She was hungry for the win. Here I scream through and say, next time you will take pass, boy. Oliver and Alan receiving their checkered flag. This is 876 Streets. Bringing the footage to you and your whole crew. This is Maurice Whittingham, aka World Boss, the doctor, signing out until the next race. 876 Streets. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you can see me pointing at it. ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. 
So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are IslandNet. We mean business. Let us support yours. This event is sponsored by
Dover Race Way Super Street Race Number Three. As as 876 Streets, welcome to back to our live stream. Yes, and we're now back in charge of bringing this footage of the Super Street. And let me tell you, this is the third most exciting Super Street race I've ever witnessed. Because they're battling, and these cars, none of them are falling out, and they're they're all. If the, the only thing could, would would make them fall out of the category is actually going too fast and breaking out of the 145 second bracket so yes they are warming their tires the pace car is still out there anticipating the starter the start anticipating if there would be in the right grid coming up on the start finish straight to give them the okay if they have a clean grid start and they will be off and the excitement shall begin pace car slowly groups them in the fast island at fast broadband co corner some of them getting their oil temp up hear them revving away this is as I said and you heard in the background Super Street race number three and we hear Warren Lamey's voice out there so they're coming through the bush trails corner coming up through the S's so yes we are now anticipating the start the starter looks on carefully to see if they are in the correct position for them to get the green flag for the go. And we hear the engines revving up and he is stepping and they have the green flag and they're now off. And Charles Chen is knifing through the middle. Yes, and jumping on to Vijay Bowler's bumper in the sound right. But that's what he's doing and they're side by side Vijay is not giving up this 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 lead as they head down into Pinky's Bluff Charles is still attacking and there's a no pass zone there I see them break and he has allowed him as a gentleman to go through the FT86 is on waiting for them to make a mistake and there is Charles at it again Vijay is slowly boosting away They all closely bundled and waiting for the opportunity to make the pass. Yes, and this, they have amalgamated so much points for this race so far. Vijay has been the winner of uh, at least two of these races for today. And it's competed in so many other races back on MP and IP races today. And he's out here trying to solidify a win in the third Super Street run for today. That name is calling. He seems to want this name to be stamped in people's brain. He's in every race. All day. Vij Vijay Bowler. Vijay Bowler. So yes, he is determined to make a mark as they have their own place of they work at their drive and race and build their own cars. It's not bought. Well, that one he's driving seems to be bought. Joshua Brady in the FT86 is waiting for them to... They're fighting, so he's waiting for one of them to make a mistake and see if he can pass them. Mr. Falloon can always, always so... Just being consistent and is waiting for them also to make a mis uh, mistake but as I told you before there are two categories the force induction and the naturally aspirated otherwise turbocharged and natural Bowler seems to be toying around with Charleston Charleston is getting frustrated and he is 
going to keep that position until the right time of attack, I think. That is my prediction, and that's the 876 Street's prediction. And now we have Joshua waiting around to see if they will fight long enough for him to make a pass. And then we have Garth Huey and Raymond Mooney. I think these cars are natural. Jordan Lamb bringing up the war in the rear. And I see that Jonathan Addison on my list. I'm looking to see if I see that EK. And that is a grandmother Subaru Impreza. And Bola and Charles seem to be creating all the excitement and ruckus up front. They're going so hard that it's now boring. The war is in the middle with the Honda Fit and that Mitsubishi Honda powered, what you would call it, a Monda and the BMW. Is it a one or a two that is waiting for the right pass zone to, to make the opportunity to see if they can actually change positions to see if they can amalgamate more points in this championship. The th third race for today, they've all been consistent. Mr. Bowler in front, Charles Chen in second, waiting for the opportunity to see if he can take away the victory from VJ Bowler without breaking out of the 145 second bracket. So far, Raymond Moody has done the fastest lap of this race which is a 146 which he still remains in contention with the bracket of 145 and Garth Huey seems to be the one in the Subaru grocery getter and showing that this car can still be out here competing and you can once come and do the course and come and enjoy a full spirited day of racing on the legendary Dover Raceway track. Charles patiently waiting all over. Left and right. Vijay does not seem to be flustered. As as cars in the in the in the in the pit area seems to be ripping out and saluting the excitement of the cars on the track of doing well their fan base they're ecstatic that vj is doing a multi breaking lighting up to intimidate charles chen charles is laughing at it and said you just wait on the passing zone and i'll show you the power of a vw Josh was still waiting to make his mark in his beautifully beautiful red FT86, not an A86, the older child of the grandchild of that FT86. And here they come up the back straight to the start finish straight. And this will be their fourth lap completing. And there they go. Still in a 146 bracket. And the BMW seems to be challenging the FT86 of Joshua Brady. Raymond Moody. Raymond 
Sean Mooney. Excitement seemed to have over, overcome him and pushed so hard. I think he did a 144, which might push him over the, out of the bracket. But he still revs on. The crowd seems to be getting excited over nothing as Vijay Bowler seems to be calm behind the wheel and not worried about Charles. But Charles might have an excessive button on that last straight I saw the last race where he just accelerated around Mr. Bowler, BMW. So he might have a secret, a secret weapon waiting to be exposed a surprise in the hat for mr bowler charles chen they're on the fourth their fourth completed lap coming around for the fifth lap and here they go so closely wound in together and that's it ladies and gentlemen vj bowler has now secured a win We are waiting on the results as it seems that the timing equipment has recorded some of them breaking out of the bracket. So we shall wait for the final decisions by our scorers to know who is the winner as Pressure Bus Pipe, Charles Pressure Vijay, and Joshua Brady. Raymond Mood is still. Maintains his position. We shall see the results. This is 876 Streets bringing the third Super Street race of the day to you. Repping for the sickest rides. This is Maurice Whittingham, aka World Boss, the Doctor. And this event is sponsored by. ATMs across the island are connected wirelessly by Island Net. So are supermarkets you know and trust. We provide the data connections and business services for public Wi-Fi platforms and connect banks and their branches island-wide. We've been there for factories, events, hotels, and the list goes on. We are Island Net. We mean business. Let us support yours. KFC online is so easy. The only difficult thing will be to resist. Order your KFC favorites at the new KFCJamaica.com. Easy KFC, it's finger licking good.
876 Street to welcome you back to the live feed at the JRDC Easter Meet Dover Raceway Meet in St. Anne's. Yes, this is our improved production IP race getting ready to set off. My name is Maurice Whittingham, aka World Boss, and yes, we are 876 Streets putting a new platform to bring this live to you in your living room. And we are gridding now. They're doing their warm-up lap, coming around for the starter to see if they are in line to give them the green light, the green flag, the goal to set them free. Bearing in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we had a little bit of technical difficulties as the wind was shifting our satellites. Our internet was in and out. But we've worked very hard to sort this out for you and this is a platform that we're looking to improve even i as maurice Whittingham, is where i am not a professional commentator but i do my best to bring everybody up to scratch with information of all different brackets during this race the excitement is usually at the front i'm working hard to keep you that to give you the information that the race is also in the middle and in the rear depending on who's IP2, IP1, IP3, even, and they're about to start. They're coming up the start finish straight right now. The starter is looking to see if they're in a line so he can give them the green. And they're looking for the green flag. The starter is peeping over, is looking over. Dover, 2024, and yes, there is a green flag and they're up. And they're four going down to the first corner at Dover. Dover has 13 named corners and two unnamed corners. And let me tell you, every 15 corners of the track is exciting, ladies and gentlemen, as they come down to the spectator corner, which carries them down to Spinky's Bluff. And... In the lead is Sebastian Ray. It is Honda Civic. And he's being chased by Mr. Morgan in his four-wheel drive turbocharged evolution. So we are excited while everybody tries to find their right. Bassi Ray is in front right now. IP3. And Jody Gibson is looking to give him some competition, yes. So we're paying attention to the camera views now to see who's in the middle. IP2. John Steele. As they're coming on for the first lap, so we'll now know, we'll soon find out their position. Sheldon Morgan is a first Sebastian Ray with a lap time of 132. Jordan Gibson in third, John Steele in fourth. As Kevin Chalk and his Sylvia doing very well in IP2. Is IP2 chasing John Steele, Kevin Chalk. And Daniel Chuck, IP2 also, chasing Kevin Chuck. Ian Gabriel, if I pronounce that correctly. IP3 is in seventh on the grid. And Vijay Bowler is fighting in the middle and he's on the attack. He's regained, he's gained one position and he's on it. Yes, the excitement is here. And they are... Vijay just snuck by and stole one position up. And Swift from Swiftitune is working out the bugs and he is consistently holding his position and looking to gain another one.
Salam Morgan and Pastor Bay. Pastor Spartan. These guys are swapping positions so fast. And yes, just pass Mr. Chuck in the, in the spectators corner right here. John Steele. No. It's Kevin and Daniel. Passeray maintaining as Shellen Morgan pulls away from the pack. Wow! There is a spin in the Lubit corner. Who is that? That is Ricardo Clark. And he's gathered himself from the spin and he's on and back after Mr. Murray. It is Nissan Pulse As we hear Mr. Morgan scream by with his Havilland sponsored Evolution. Bassi, Bassi is maintaining and holding his ground, hoping that Jody does not pull him in. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, Jody, Jody Gibson, Driving that Evolution 7 has broken his transfer box and that guy has been run in front wheel drive. So he's doing an excellent job to hold third position. He is pushing. And the car is originally a four wheel drive but it's in front wheel drive mode right now. So he's pushing on. He's not complaining and he's, he's holding his own. And Keeping consistent lap times. And Swifty Tune, Swifty is actually, yes, and he's, he's passing Vijay. And Vijay is trying to hold his line. And they are at it. Swifty has stuck the pass on Vijay Bowler down the back straight. And Vijay is still at it. Which is not easing up off of Sufi, yes. He wants to regain that position. And he's at it again. And he's taken the, sp the spot back from Sufi Tune. Sufi Tune. The J is relentless. And he screams fast. And Swift Yes, giving him some space. And other cars on attack Swift might be experience some issues as two more cars are on the inside of his apex of his corner and has taken the position away from him. As DJ is pulling away and has now set his eyes on Mr. Chuck to see if he can gain some time. And uh, to see if we can pull back in Kevin Chuck and his the both Chucks. Vijay is now pursuing Kevin. And let me tell you, Ian. He has pulled away from Ian in his motor car. Let me tell you, this is exciting. This is motorsports competition as it, at its best. This is such a competitive field, the IP class. And let me tell you, the names that are standing out so far is Bassi Ray, Vijay Paula, and Sheldon Morgan. Sheldon has had some gremlins in his closet recently where 
He's been doing well and the car does not last. All the laps were on the fifth. The fifth lap complete. And everybody is working with what they have. Sheldon seems to be pulling away from the track. Pulling, pulling, pulling away from the field. I am not seeing Bassi Ray. Bassi seems to have been suffering from some difficulties. That's unfortunate. He's been such a competitive spirit. Oh no, there he is. He's still en route. But I realize Jody is in second. John Steele in third. Kevin Jock in fourth. No one is cruising. No one is trying to save the best for last. These are for all the marbles. These guys are flat out in every category. Shalom is just stretching the field to show his dominance right now. Show that his, his machine can do the job. And Jordi is driving the best of his abilities in his car right now knowing that this car is just front wheel drive his car is he has disconnected the rear wheels his transfer case gave out on him and he says forget it we're still racing even in front wheel drive and he's doing a magnificent job to gather up everything and still put it out there and still yielding some good results the trucks are consistent. They have not fallen out of our their consistency is pretty good. And they have all oh, the white flag is up showing indicating the last lap. And the last lap before the checkered flag. And Mr. Morgan just flew past that. And we're hearing we're, we're hearing Mr. Gibson's car smoke in the tires as it's only front wheel drive powered no traction fighting for traction and yet still trying to hold off the rest of the pack to maintain the second position the truck smell smell of wounded and they're after him john Steele and kevin chuck is after after Mr. Mr. Gibson and he's trying his best to hold him off and they're on full attack and Vijay Paula Vijay Paula is in the mix last time in completing his run because I think his car had some mechanical difficulties but not today he's, pro he's, he's determined to prove that his car is physically sound and can complete and get the job done and he is he's he's putting it all out on the line in every class and genre of the class today daniel chuck is running close behind vijay and looking to make the pass but vijay is not having it ricardo clark in ip1 and Robert Moore is going in third. And that is it. Congratulations. The checkered flag has been flown. Sheldon Morgan car has triumphantly 
finish without any mechanical difficulties and held the number one spot. And Jolie fought through all of his gremlins and, and, and just pushed on through with his front wheel drive evolution, retaining the second spot, second in IP3. And John Steele won winning IP2. Excellent job and Vijay Bowler second in IP2. IP1, I think the winner is unofficially Tyrone Marshall. Congratulations to all as they pick up these checkered flags. As this race consists of three categories, congratulations. And this is being brought to you by 876 Streets, repping for Jamaica's sickest ride. This is Maurice Whittingham, a.k.a. World Boss. And waiting to regret the next group. In meanwhile,
This event is sponsored by Fasten your seatbelts and prepare for an awesome experience. Showcasing the best of Jamaica's automotive culture. Eight seven six streets, repping for Jamaican sickest rides. All right, so this is Maurice Whittingham. No, this is not. <laughs> All right, so we are almost at the end of the day, and what a day, what a day. Um, I just have to say thanks, everyone, for supporting um, this, our pay-per-view. Um, it's the first time we've attempted it and the support I must say is we, we do appreciate it I mean definitely exceeds um, what we were expecting yeah man because we know how you know sometimes Jamaicans um, you know we can be a bit fussy ab about new stuff you know, boy, one of them start charge and all of that. But nevertheless, you guys are here with us and we really do appreciate you, all right? Um, just uh, announcement. Um, April 26 to 28 will be Drag Rivals at Vernon Field, right? And after that we head to Jamwes yes for circuit racing circuit racing at Jamwes yeah yeah man so we ho we hope you're having a a great Easter Monday um, chilling with us um, I know a lot of you I mean I've been getting some real positive feedback um, people really do appreciate the live stream um, and we are happy that we could be able to provide you know this kind of service for you guys and um, we guarantee you with each stream each pay-per-view each whether it's pay-per-view or free because not you know not all our streams will be pay-per-view you know but whichever it is um, we guarantee you that we will always give you the best coverage, all right? The best we know how. <laughs> all right, so 
motorcycle race three is coming up um motorcycle race three the final motorcycle race for the day is coming up and um after that we have the big grand finale all right so stay tuned don't go anywhere uh don't go too far yeah man so we are live from the grdc carnival of speed at the dover raceway yeah man so stay tuned
This event is sponsored by
Yes, and we're back here for the last race of the day. This is... MP2 and MP1. And yes, we are... MP1, 2, 3, and 4. And this is what we've been anticipating for. We have... Alan Gordon in his Jam West sponsored Evolution 10 at the front. Rolling around to the starter to see if they've gridded properly for them to get the green flag for the goal. The excitement is in the air. We have Mr. Bassery and you have Lamar Lamond. Would seem like he did not qualify for this race where his grid is because his lap times would have had him further up in the pack. But nevertheless, he's here competing and looking for the win in this MP class. MP1, 2, 3, and 4 coming around to be spotted by the starter to see if they can get the green flag. This is 876 Streets repping for the sickest footage, the sickest rides, bringing, bringing entertainment to you. The thrilling spills of Dover Raceway and they're coming up the back straight. The spotter is, is looking over, yes, and they have and Sarah's on the flank Oliver Townsend in the middle and they're off and they're after and there's a lot of smoke Alan Gordon on the outside flank is not intimidating Mr. Townsend and he is holding the lead Sarah in front yes this is exciting Lamar Lamar is in second holding off Alan and Oliver Townsend in fourth. Chuck's Fried Chicken in fifth. As they Negotiate the island net fast, broadband corner, down the back straight. Oliver Townsend cars puffing some smoke. I don't know if it's on the maximum RPM. He is fighting to make his move so he can maintain his position. That has always been his strategy. Position and place and pace and... And they're coming up the back straight and it's all jumble. is in the first position followed by Lamar Lamont and Alan is whoa doing that crazy crazy breaking he seems to have some breaking issues as he did before and Sarah is holding her ground girl power let me tell you and Lamar is not easing up the pressure hopefully pressure will bust by Let me tell you, Hachiruku AE86 out of Mandeville, and he is spitting fire, breathing down Sarah Mizir's neck as a fire breathing dragon. She's holding her own, she's holding the pressure comfortably, comfortably in the front. Alan is after them, and Kevin Chuck smells. Trying to keep up, but the, the first three runners are pulling away, pulling away from them. I have not seen Oliver Townsend car come back around. I'm wondering if he's having difficulties, but yes. Sarah is belting up the front stretch and she spins them out. I 
and the top three runners. They're after the girl power. As it's a tech pass boy. She a whole lot ground. Her whole team very proud. She's an international driver now. And she's still here, homegrown. Territory, Dover Racing Champions. Young lady. And Lamar is after her. But she's comfortable. She's now showing what her machine is capable of and her driving is capable of. I've had the chance to tutor this young lady and this lady has ended up teaching me a few things that she was way ahead of the game. I'm not seeing the Spartak sponsored Amsoil Racing, Oliver Townsend, Nutsford, EK Civic seem to have fallen out. There's only five contenders left in this. And yes, Sarah is holding her ground and her car is usually very efficient. It's durable. She's never really had it. So if she just drives and holds her ground, she should manage to maintain this victory. MP1, 2, 3 and 4. A lot of cars pull out like flies, but let me tell you. The excitement is at the front knowing that Sarah is holding off the big boys. Yes, the crowd is ecstatic knowing that it's a female that is running this field. It's electrifying and let me tell you, hopefully she shall maintain the laps that are left. This is the last but not least for the day and she is looking to make her mark. Lamar is the only hope of trying to catch her. And Alan is not increasing. It's being spaced out, so Lamar Laman is the only person after Sarah at this point, but she's comfortably in the lead, placing her lines, using her experience of her karting days and holding her lines, placing every wheel as earlier when she and Lamar almost ended up in a out of control situation. They did very well to recover and they're back at it right now for the last one of the day. And she just screamed past the start for the straight. And Lamar is, I don't know if he's able to keep up with her. She's running flawlessly at this time. Well, no, very comfortable in going down into the pinkest bluff. Her car seems very stable. She is very stable and focused. She is applying all that she knows. Lamar is still chasing. And Chucks, Kevin Chuck from Ch Kevin Chucks Fried Chicken out of Mandeville, still maintaining his his pace in his turbocharged S13 Sylvia. It seems like if all goes well at this pace, they shall all retain the positions that they're in and this shall be the final standing because they've been so far paced out, they're so far spaced that unless someone falls into mechanical difficulty that anything shall change so this is a, a beautiful effort by and the blue flag has just been written for him to come out of Sarah's way and Sarah is running away to clear the way because she's now lapped She's just made a lap on the compound and, and one of the competitors, the Yellow Civic. Oh, who is it? She's just caught up 
And Ricardo Scott has received the blue flag to let her pass. Sorry, Ricardo Long, not Scott. And he gave her away as a gentleman as he is for her to keep her pace, to hold off the big boys that are breathing down her neck. Let me tell you, this is goosebumps all over this. She's doing excellent and she seems to hopefully run away with the wind. And she flies on the start for the straight and she's clearly no issues, no problems. Car sounds beautifully. She's negotiating the first gun and Lamar is not even on the back straight. So she drives this race smartly. She has been she is the winner. Oh, Lamar. Lamar Lamar seems to have retired on the side on the in the S's in the back. And he's exiting his car. In disappointment, Sarah, Monsieur, this is six laps completed, and let me tell you, the crowd is ecstatic. And she is still heavily in the throttle to show her dominance. And letting them know that I am here as a female to show that we can run for the big boys. Alan Gordon seems to have no answer for her. She has now received the white flag to show that this is the last lap for the checkered flag. Hunting for the checkered flag, let me tell you. Sarah Monsieur is not easing up. She is no one behind her. Clear victory and still maintaining an incredible pace to pull further away from the pack. She is not only she's not she's not playing around. She's she's showing her dominance right now. And as far as she can, she's stepping and let me tell you 1 minute 25 seconds is her fastest lap time and she is pulling away from Alan Gordon and Kevin Chuck from Chuck's Fried Chicken Alan seems to have thrown in a towel as he cannot match Sarah's Sarah Missouri's pace and she just collected the checkered flag and the crowd is ecstatic and giving her a round of applause 876 streets round of applause to her and the last winner of the dead the MP for winner winner overall of this race the last race of the day the crowd is the crowd is ecstatic and she stopped to collect her flag. They have no flag to give her. She's disappointed. That's right. Spitting flames, waving to the crowd. I'm sure everybody has felt like they've got their money's worth. Round of applause for Sarah Mazier, her team, her crew, her family, her dad. Good drive. Round of applause from world boss Maurice Whittingham. 876 Streets was here to bring you live coverage.
want to big up all of our sponsors. Sarah has made a statement here today. Everyone at Dover Raceway here is ecstatic and all of our viewers from 876 Street repping for the sickest footage and the sickest rides. This is Maurice Whittingham, a.k.a. World Boss. I was glad to be a host. It was an honor to bring the excitement to you as best as I could. I'm not perfect, but I hope to get better. And there's some side action from Kevin Chuck. Full sideways, the crowd loves it. And he is dancing that thing left and right. The crowd is loving it. Kevin Chuck's fried chicken, yes. Check out his spot in Mandeville. And when you come to Jamaica, our views who are off the island, yes. Come on down and you know what to do and where to go. We are a destination of talent, branding, everything. Where good people love, love it. And hope to bring motorsports to you effectively like this. Wanna big up 876 Streets for doing this. And everyone, wherever you are in the world, the excitement, keep it slow, keep it in the speed limit, race on the track, not on the road. 876 Streets, Maurice Whittingham, and yes, we're out of a beautiful day. Thank you.
This event is sponsored by